there's a group of people that I work with. They are all in San Francisco and they've all basically convinced themselves that in the next two to four years, the average is three years, the entire world will change. And here's roughly how they make their argument. I call it a consensus because a consensus is true that it's a consensus, but it's not necessarily true that the consensus is true. So you have to follow that reason. The scenario goes like this. First, you have language to language. LLMs, ChatGPT is the best one. They did a great job. The other folks get started and they're catching up in various forms in that department. Meanwhile, you have the development of reasoning, the adoption of memory inside the system. And so the agent revolution, which everybody understands here what that means, because many of you are in the middle of the agent revolution, can be understood as language in, memory in, language out. I'll use an example. I have a house in California. I want to build another one. I have an agent that finds a lot. I have another agent that works on what the rules are, another agent that works on designing the building, another selects the contractor. And at least in America, you have an agent that then sues the contractor when the house doesn't work. Now, why would I give you such a stupid example? I just gave you a workflow example that's true of every business, every government, and every group human activity. So when you understand that the genetic revolution and the reasoning revolution together really change the way we operate as humans, then you understand why the San Francisco consensus is so powerful.